In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to get all of the unique properties from a group of objects in JavaScript. So in this scenario, let's say you've got a group of objects that aren't in an array, they're all separate variables themselves, and you want to get a unique list of properties that are contained with all of the objects. So there are a few ways that you can do this, let's take a look at a couple of them now. And the first method I'm going to use is a reduce function. So the first thing I'm going to do is put all of those objects into an array, and then I'm going to call the reduce function on the array and access the accumulator and each individual item in the array. And what I'm going to do is spread the keys of the item into the accumulator using the object.keys function. We also want to keep the result of the accumulator, so let's spread that into the result each time too. And finally, let's just initialize our accumulator as an empty array. So if we check the result of our all properties variable, you can see it contains a list of all of the properties that are contained in those three objects. But of course we only wanted the unique properties in the objects, so the simplest way to remove duplicate items from an array is to construct a new set object. And you can use the set object as it is to look up keys, or if you want to put the values back into an array, you can just use the spread operator again. So as you can see, it's a two-stage process. The first process is to get all of the properties out of the objects, and then remove any duplicates after that. And if you don't like the reduce approach that we've used to get all of the properties, you can also use a map function. The only issue with that, as you can see, is instead of getting a list of all of the properties of the objects, we've actually got three arrays that contain all of their properties but we can fix that by chaining on a flat function onto the end of our call to map. And the same as before, we can create a new set of objects to get the unique values. So there you have just a couple of ways to get all of the unique properties from a group of objects. 